Oh shit, that boy Yukichi was trying to warn his ass. He didn't want to believe him. This motherfucker plays dirty as a motherfucker. I mean, shit is dirty. It's, it's real in these streets. The streets ain't safe no more. But anyway, the homie um, Takagi, Takagi, or whatever you want to call it, he's going extra hard from the beginning. His first fucking swing, all his fucking might, like, ah, that type of deal. It's like, goddamn, you know, save some, you know. But that's how, that we find out that that's how it is. Like, out the gate, he comes hard because he's that obsessed with winning because he's been beat so much by fucking Nabai. Anyway, we also find out he likes to fuck with people. Little, little, little annoying shit he's going to do in order to take you out of your game. Atro starts to notice, oh shit. He keeps staring at me like that, what the fuck? He says, I, I might have to do something. He said, this motherfucker wants some, you know, some problems or something like that. Anyway, the punk motherfucker is really just trying to intimidate him. That's one thing. You know, one thing is he's trying to intimidate him. When they had to switch courts after he won that little game, he stares him down like this. When he did that one, y'all know what that means in the streets. It's go time. When he did that one, I was like, God damn, that's a little bit too much. So they switch courts, and he starts winning a little bit. Then H Roll figures his trick out, and he starts winning and shit like that. Oh, excuse me. Then H Roll starts getting hot, and he was actually getting ready to break um, Takagi's serve. So what he did was he chilled his ass out. He said, "Okay, I see you getting all, all in the zone and shit." He said, "Let me put your ass on ice real quick. Fake the fucking injury." He said, "I feel a bad." Uh, twinge in my hammy. He said, I gotta go take a seat real quick. He got three minutes and that chill jet. Look, if you are playing and you're in the zone and you're moving and you get into a rhythm, when you gotta stop, even if for three minutes, you get cold a little bit. Just a little bit. You get a little cold. And that make, that fucked the game up for you more than it does for him because he's used to it. He already knows what it is. So... He got back in the driver's seat after that. Now they, they're about evenly matched. Uh, 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 H-Row starts mixing it up. And uh, that throws him off. Then to, uh, Takagi pulls even more rabbits out the head. He started making little noises. Throwing his game off. All kinds of shit. And then we see in the, in, uh, the flashback. The way he beat Nabai. He says, I'll do anything as long as it's in the rule books, I'll do it. And then some of the shit that's, that's against the rules, if I can bend it and twist it a little bit, you know, to get in there, then I'll do that. He said, I lost so much, I don't want to fucking lose ever again. Especially not to Nabai, because he keeps getting beat by Nabai. But the way he won was, he just played him until he was absolutely exhausted, then beat him in one game. They played... All the way up to about 6 o'clock in the morning. They pay all the way through the night. What was it been? What, 15 hours they played? And he won one. He won one. And that's the one he wants to brag about. That's, that's fucked up. I, I mean, I couldn't take no pride in, you know, in, unless, unless we said we're going to play for endurance. You know, and that's, that's what we decided. Cool. But if you just try to force that on somebody, and the only reason he was able to win because he, he, he worked harder than Nabai, you know, sometimes that just happens. He worked a little bit harder than Nabai. If he's seen not Nabai work for two hours, he's going to work for three. That type of deal. So that's why he had a little bit more stamina. That's the only reason he won. And now he's trying to do the same thing with fucking h row. And then, once he's seen that the tricks wasn't working, uh, Cause not by he even said it himself. He said you focus. It. Don't get me wrong. Some of that shit he did was all right. Some of the tricks are actually things you would do in the sport. Cause a lot of that shit is mentals, and a lot of that shit is you know breaking down somebody's psychology. So like staring down an opponent, that's cool. Except for when he got when they were switching courts, you're not even playing that. There's no reason to stare him down. You know that type of deal. Um, the drop shots and trick shots and shit. That shit is cool. But not by hit the nail on the head. You focusing too much on those tricks. 
Worry, work on your game more than you work on the tricks. The tricks is okay. You know what I'm saying? It, it helps you get the advantage here and there. You know, but focus more on your game than that. And then he takes it to a whole entire new level now. He get ready to take fucking Atro's head off. He realized that at the end, Atro has the advantage. Why? Atro is winning in points, which means is that he's doing better than the other guy. The only difference is the other guy was winning more games. I mean, was winning the same amount of games. That can happen in um, um, in uh, tennis. You could be whooping the person's ass, but really still losing because you're losing. You know, like like when you win, uh, you only win by one point, but when you lose, you're losing by all aces. So really, you getting demolished, but you still win because you win even just for that one fucking point. But anyway, um, they they volley for a minute, then um, he pulls a trick shot. Atro runs up on it. He talk. He said, "Where's he gonna toss it?" He tossed it right at his face. Atro blocked the first shot. He didn't notice the dude came with another one. He said, "Here's a happy meal. How's it taste?" The shit is coming right for his damn mouth. He's about to eat, I mean, balls to the mouth. He's going to take this motherfucker's head off. I like this because he's the dirtiest player we've seen. Some motherfuckers are like that in sports, and we and this they're trying to show what's true to life in sports. And if this and if that's true to life, they should show this. Uh, it is actually entertaining, and the shit was scary, like how he was intimidating motherfuckers. And you would probably think, damn, what would I do in that situation? I would probably be ticked. We might have to fucking fight. You know, that type of deal. I don't know. I wouldn't fight him. I'm just saying, if this was type of shit that was happening on the street, it's not, not in tennis. But some people bring that shit to the games. Like, it's some uh, basketball players that actually go out there to physically injure fucking players. Some football players go out there to intentionally injure players. And I like how they bring that realism to the, to this game. Um, I mean, to this uh, episode. Um, other than that, you just find out who this dude is. A good thing, though, is um, outside of his tricks, he fashions his game at the nine by. So, really, this is some type of practice for Atro. Also, winning against Ide was practice for this uh, 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 match because he's learned how to control his emotions. So, it was practice for this match, and this match is practice for uh, uh, nine by. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. But anyway, go ahead in your comments. Like the video and subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. And you got the power to change that. Peace.